What is task avoidance? Well, before I answer this question, I want to tell you that task avoidance is one of the main reasons why we have so many arguments at home and in the classroom with our teens. Task avoidance is basically our defense mechanism to avoid, right, to push away or to procrastinate a task that, that is perceived as too complex or daunting, right, scary. We would avoid the task at hand because we don't want to do it right now. Again, because we think that it's either too complicated or that it's just overwhelming and we will push it to later and then never. The same happens with our teenagers. The thing is that we do it much less than our teenagers because our toolbox is much more rich, is richer than theirs, and we have much more life experience and our problem solving skills are much more advanced than them. So you take a 16, 17, 18, even 20 years old who are facing with different kind of, of tasks, even everyday tasks like, you know, setting their beds, organizing their desks, and they just cannot do it. And you like, you look at them and say, why are you waiting for someone to do it for you? Well, they procrastinate because for them, in their perception, and that's the problem, it's either too complex, they don't know where to start from, they don't know what the sequence of activities in, in setting up the desk. And even if for you, it sounds so simple, so basic, and that they cannot do it, for them, in their perception, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. And that's the problem. So when there is this miscommunication or lack of understanding, like, dude, this is so simple, it's very basic, why can't you do it? And then there is, you know, a teenager who's just like not doing it. And the problem even worse is the task avoidance because each child has her own way of showing that they don't want to do it, that they're running away from it. I can tell you that as a student, every time I had to write a paper, an essay, I remember I started cleaning my room, just cleaning it, like cleaning, crazy cleaning it, right? I noticed that with my daughter, when, whenever we have to do reading activity, she starts playing with her dolls. So it's very important to understand what is our teen's task avoidance? How do they manifest it? What behavior they turn to, and it's usually very consistent, what behavior they turn to in order to avoid the task and get curious about what they're trying to avoid and find out if they need help, but don't force it. Ask for an invitation. Ask for permission to talk about it and, and solve it together. It could be that, again, they perceive it as too complex or too daunting and they don't know where to start because their problem solving skills have just not developed yet. Now, it is very easy, especially with tasks that are very simple, that perceived as very simple to us, to do it for them because why would I sit down with my daughter to talk for like 20 minutes or just discuss it and, and get it out of her where I can do it in five minutes, right? Uh, fixing her bed, for example, even less than five minutes. So why would I do it? Yes, because we want to develop the skills of, you know, setting the bed, but it's not just about getting more organized. It's about helping her develop her problem solving skills so she can do it later or he can do it after when you leave the room, when you're not at home, when you're not around them so that they can become more independent. And speaking about becoming more independent, I work with teenagers who are just like what I've described. Students who are intelligent, but they just have a problem with doing things, right? With doing things uh, to become more independent, doing things uh, to be more productive. And they want, but they cannot because they have many difficulties. And you cannot just explain them. You do, many times don't even understand what the problem is. So my specialty is working with teenagers and helping them become independent and successful both at home and in the school. So if you are interested in learning more about the program, I invite you to click on the link right below this video to learn more about it and maybe we can discuss and find out how we can help. All right, take care.